If you're learning a new language, it can sometimes be tiring to go to a class, read a book. If this is true for you, it might be a good idea to start watching movies in English. So guys, in this lesson, let's watch a great scene of a movie together and learn some pronunciation tips, vocabulary, idioms, and expressions. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Hello, Aria. I forgot you were still a student here. Yeah, I am. What are you doing here? I'm applying for an open teaching position. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Hello, Aria. I forgot you were still a student here. Yeah, I am. What are you doing here? I'm applying for an open teaching position. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? So guys, let's say it like this. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Apply for. Apply for means to officially ask for something such as a job, a place on a course, or a loan, usually by completing a special form or writing a letter. For example, we say apply for something. I'm applying for a new job. We can also say apply to do something. For example, how do you apply to extend your visa? We can also say apply to something or somebody for something. For example, we have applied to a charitable organization for a grant for the project. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Hello, Aria. I forgot you were still a student here. Yeah, I am. What are you doing here? I'm applying for an open teaching position. Position. Guys, here position means a job. Yes, a job. For example, she applied for a position in the firm that I work for. Oh, don't worry, hun. I won't put you down as a reference. Oh, don't worry, hun. I won't put you down as a reference. Put something or somebody down. Put somebody down here means to make someone feel foolish and unimportant. For example, did you have to put me down in front of everybody? I don't get it. Well, why would she want to work at a school where she's going to bump into my mother every single day? And, and why should my mom have to go through this? She's been divorced for like 20 minutes. Arya, breathe. I don't get it. Well, why would she want to work at a school where she's going to bump into my mother every single day? And, and why should my mom have to go through this? She's been divorced for like 20 minutes. Arya, breathe. I don't get it. I don't get it. We don't pronounce T here. I don't get it. So, I don't get it is colloquial and means the same thing as I don't understand it. I don't get it could be considered a bit rude in a formal conversation with your boss or something, so use understand when you need to be polite. So don't say I don't get it, say I don't understand it in formal situations. Bump into somebody, yes, I love this expression. Bump into somebody means to meet someone unexpectedly. Yes, unexpectedly. For example, I bumped into your mother at the supermarket, which means I met her accidentally. I don't get it. Well, why would she want to work at a school where she's going to bump into my mother every single day? And, and why should my mom have to go through this? She's been divorced for like 20 minutes. Arya, breathe. Go through something which means to experience something, especially something unpleasant or difficult. For example, she's been going through a difficult time since her brother's illness, which means she has been experiencing difficult times. Seriously though, who is giving that woman a reference, my dad? Oh yeah, I wouldn't tell him either. Why? You think he has something to do with this? No, I didn't say that. I just think you're still walking on a bit of scorched earth when it comes to us. Seriously, though, who is giving that woman a reference? My dad? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't tell him either. 
Why? You think he has something to do with this? No, I didn't say that. I just think you're still walking on a bit of scorched earth when it comes to us. Have to do with something. Which means to be about something or to be connected to something. For example, my question has to do with last week's assignment. Which means my question is about or related to last week's assignment. Scorched earth. Scorched earth. Let's understand this term. So this is the act of an army destroying everything in an area such as food, buildings or equipment that could be useful to an enemy. Scorched earth. But scorched earth policy. This is a situation in which a company gets rid of the best parts of its business to make it less attractive to another company that might want to buy it. Scorched Earth Policy You should understand this term. And if you put him on the defensive? He's not in that place anymore. Then why am I dropping you off three blocks from your house? Because he's still in that place. <sighs> but I hate this. I hate having to sneak around and avoid saying your name. And if you put him on the defensive? He's not in that place anymore. Then why am I dropping you off three blocks from your house? Because he's still in that place. <sighs> but I hate this. I hate having to sneak around and avoid saying your name. Drop somebody off. Drop somebody off, guys, means to take someone or something specially by car to a particular place. For example, I'm about to leave. Can I drop you off somewhere on my way home? Sneak. Sneak means to go somewhere secretly or to take someone or something somewhere secretly. For example, I managed to sneak in through the bank door while she wasn't looking. Sounds like we're going backwards. One battle at a time. We just had a nice dinner with your mom. Okay? Let's celebrate what it is worth. We're going backwards. One battle at a time. We just had a nice dinner with your mom. Okay? Let's celebrate what it is worth. At a time. At a time means during any one period. For example, I can only do one thing at a time. Emily's gonna be calling you. I might not answer. Ezra, she's sinking. Please? Emily's gonna be calling you. I might not answer. Ezra, she's sinking. Please? Sink. Sink here, guys, means to fall or move to a lower level. For example, I didn't study for the exam. My grades are sinking, which means they are falling down. I didn't touch your friend Maya, and I didn't kill Allison. And guess what? What was snatched from her grave that night would have actually proved it. How? Is your mom defending me or not? I didn't touch your friend Maya, and I didn't kill Allison. And guess what? What was snatched from her grave that night would have actually proved it. How? Is your mom defending me or not? Snatch. Snatch. Which means to take something or somebody away by force. For example, the six-year-old girl was snatched from a playground and her body was found two days later. She had her purse snatched, which means stolen, while she was shopping. As you can see in this picture, these guys on motorcycle are snatching the purse. Why would she or anyone else in this town believe that you're innocent? Spencer, somebody you know well has you completely fooled. Why would she or anyone else in this town believe that you're innocent? Spencer, somebody you know well has you completely fooled. Innocent. As you know guys, innocent means a person not guilty of a particular crime. For example, he firmly believes that she is innocent of the crime. She is not guilty. 
people lie, but medical records don't. Whose medical records? Who are you talking about? Allison? People lie, but medical records don't. Whose medical records? Who are you talking about? Allison? Medical record. As you can see, guys, medical record is a record of a patient's medical information as medical history, care or treatment received, test result, diagnosis and meditations taken. So these informations are called medical record. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed learning English with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. You can watch our new lessons on Sundays and Thursdays. Find our new English online courses at EnglishFitCourses.com. See you in the next lesson.